Congratulations on your purchase of one of the most advanced vacuum sealers on the market today, the Cabela's Commercial Grade Vacuum Sealer. Whether you purchase the 12 inch or the 15 inch model, your new Cabela's Commercial Grade Vacuum Sealer is the result of years of design and engineering innovations that bring you patent pending features like smart heat technology and intelligent heat sealing that automatically monitors and adjusts the proper sealing temperature. Now you can enjoy non-stop sealing without overheating. Plus, we've added a number of other new and convenient features to help make vacuum sealing easier. Whether it's wild game, waterfowl, cheese, fruits, vegetables, breads, you'll find the Cabela's commercial grade vacuum sealer to be a reliable and cost-effective way to preserve and store a wide variety of foods up to five times longer without freezer burn. In this video, you'll learn about all the sealer's easy operating functions as well as how to properly prepare foods for airtight vacuuming and sealing. We'll review the control panel functions and how to select the vacuum pressure settings and sealing modes. I'll show you how to evaluate and match your food contents to the correct vacuuming and sealing modes. You'll see how to prepare and use vacuum bags designed specifically for efficient vacuum sealing. And I'll show you step-by-step -step instructions for sealing an airtight bag. We'll also talk about how to use our new and innovative liquid blockers that help keep the bag's sealing area dry. Plus, you'll see how to use vacuum canister accessories. You'll get helpful hints, storage and maintenance tips, and we'll go over some troubleshooting for you too. Before we get started on learning more about your Cabela's commercial grade vacuum sealer's main features, it's important that you take a moment and first read and understand the operating instructions. You'll want to take a moment now to fully read those instructions and then come back to the video at this point and we'll continue. There's also a handy quick reference guide included to keep nearby for whenever you're ready to use your vacuum sealer. Vacuum sealer features and control panel functions. Unlike other home style conventional sealers, the Cabela's commercial grade vacuum sealer offers innovative vacuuming and sealing features not found on other vacuum sealers, including waterproof soft touch control buttons, an illuminated dashboard style LCD display that shows the progression time of the vacuum and the seal process, a clear acrylic see-through vacuum chamber lid that allows for better bag placement and viewing, an illuminated on-off power button, an accessory canister port, an extra-wide commercial-grade lockdown handle, heavy-duty stainless steel construction, large non-slip rubber feet, a built-in vacuum canister hose attachment side storage compartment with the canister hose, and a convenient power cord wrap. Inside you'll find a convenient bag roll storage compartment with a built-in bag cutter and a complimentary 20-foot roll of channeled vacuum bags which are also available from Cabela's stores and online at cabelas.com. We've built in crush resistant upper and lower foam gaskets that are removable for cleaning and are replaceable with a gasket maintenance kit available from Cabela's. Each commercial unit has a deep well vacuum chamber with LED lights and two bag positioning guides for proper bag placement. On either side of the vacuum chamber, there are two raised air intake valves powered by a commercial grade double piston DC vacuum pump that delivers up to the highest vacuum pressure level available, 28 HG. Located on the front edge is the extra wide intelligent heat double sealing bar with a Teflon coated sealing tape that works with smart heat technology to automatically monitor and adjust the proper heating temperature for optimum sealing results. The sealing bar with a heating strip tape is also removable and replaceable. In addition to the complimentary bag roll, your Cabela's commercial grade sealer comes with a handy storage cover and package of four vacuum seal liquid blockers that we'll show you how to use later. Now let's look at one of the vacuum sealer's most important features, the control panel. Depending on the type of food you want to seal, the control panel is designed to give you total management of the entire vacuum and sealing process. Here's how the control panel functions work. Whenever you close the lid and press down on the handle to lock, two LED lights inside the vacuum chamber will light and the ready light on the control panel illuminates. If the lid is not closed completely, the closed lid light will illuminate. Always make sure the sealer is plugged in and the lid is closed and locked before operating. 
The AutoVac Seal Dry Button is mainly used for dry foods. When pressed, it starts the vacuuming process and automatically seals the bag. The blue LCD light will show vacuuming progress, and the orange LCD light will show the sealing progress. When the operation is finished, the complete light will illuminate, letting you know that the bag can now be removed. Note that the handle will remain locked during the operation until the complete light turns on. The Auto Vac Seal Moist button works the same way as the Auto Vac Seal Dry button, but for sealing slightly moist foods like meats and fish. The manual Vac Seal and Pulse button lets you manually control the amount of air being drawn from the bag and then press seal only when you're ready. Manual Vac Seal is best used for soft or crushable foods like cookies and crackers, breads, or fragile items. Once you've removed the amount of air needed, release the pulse button and immediately press the seal only button. Pressing seal only immediately after pressing the pulse button helps keep any air from re-entering the bag. The seal only button is also used when no vacuum pressure is needed, like when you're making a brand new bag from a bag roll. The Cancel Operation button is used whenever it may be necessary to stop the vacuum and sealing process during operation. The ACC is an accessory port that works with a canister hose that's included inside the hose storage compartment. Canister and marinating containers are sold separately and are available from Cabela's. We'll cover using canisters a little later in this video, but first we're going to show you the proper steps for preparing a vacuum bag and setting the controls for several different types of foods in order to create the perfect seal. Vacuum Sealer Bag Selection and Preparation When it's time to select the right bag for vacuum sealing, you can choose to use either a bag roll or pre-cut channel bags made specifically for vacuum sealing appliances. Do not use bags that are made for chamber style commercial sealers since they will not work. Whether you're using a bag roll or pre-cut, it's important to make sure that you're using vacuum sealer bags that have ribbed mesh channels that will bond together during the sealing process. Since your Cabela's commercial grade sealer already includes a complimentary 20 foot vacuum bag roll, we'll start our bag preparations by pulling the bag under the cutting bar out to a size that will fit the food that you want to seal. Always make sure you allow an extra three inches above the area you're gonna use for placing food. Then just slide the built-in cutter across the rail to make the cut. Next, we'll place one end of the bag across one half of the top of the oval foam gasket located at the front end of the ceiling chamber, making sure that the bag is flat. Then firmly push down the handle until it locks the lid in place. There will be a short beep the two LED lights will illuminate inside the vacuum chamber, and the LCD ready light will illuminate on the control panel screen display, letting you know that you are ready to seal. Next, press the seal only button. Do not open the lid until you hear a beep and the complete light illuminates. Your bag is now ready for food contents. And with smart heat technology, you can quickly repeat the bag making process for the number of bags you're going to need. Choosing the correct vacuum level and sealing settings is one of the most important steps for proper sealing based on the foods or items that you want to seal. Since the vacuum sealing process is designed to remove as much air as possible from the bag, keep in mind that many types of food, especially meats, fowl, and fish, contain various amounts of air, liquid, and moisture as part of their composition. So it's important to select the correct vacuum and seal setting that closely matches your food item. One critical point that you must remember is that there should not be any water or liquid of any kind in the bag because the vacuum pump will pull the liquid toward the heating elements and prevent the bag from sealing correctly. Before sealing, you should use a paper towel to pat dry meats like beef, steaks, venison, and chicken before placing them inside the bag. All liquids and visible moisture must be removed from the inside and outside of the bag surface with the paper towel so that the bag will seal correctly when the air is vacuumed out. Also, be sure to see how to use liquid blockers later in this video. How to vacuum seal a bag. Now, let's make a seal. For this venison, I've made sure that the sealing area is wiped clean and that three inches or more of empty bag space remains between the meat and the top of the bag. You'll also see that there are two bag placement guides inside the vacuum chamber that can be used to place the bag correctly for sealing. Make sure to press down and around foods by hand, 
to remove as much air as possible before closing the lid. The three extra inches of bag above the food contents allow an ample room for creating a flat, wrinkle-free bag surface all across the foam gasket, and for sliding the bag into the vacuum chamber and up to the bag placement guides. Next, switch on the power button, close the lid, and lock it down. There will be a short beep, the two LED lights will illuminate inside the vacuum chamber, and the LCD ready light will illuminate on the control panel screen display. Next, since our venison has seasonings and some moisture, we'll select the Auto Vac Seal Moist setting, which will automatically vacuum and seal the bag. After the LCD illuminates complete, remove and check the bag. Remember, since meats, fowl, and fish have air pockets and moisture, you will select Auto Vac Seal Moist most of the time. Unlike other vacuum sealers, the Cabela's commercial grade vacuum sealer's smart heat technology will automatically monitor and regulate the heat sealing bar temperature so you can continuously vacuum and seal without overheating. Be sure to avoid contact with the heat sealing strip because it is very hot. You'll also have the option of selecting Auto Vac Seal Dry for sealing dry items like rolls, crackers, cereals, and breads. If you want more manual control over crushable items, you can use the manual vac seal pulse button. For example, let's say we want to seal these cookies. You would select manual vac seal and press pulse until the right amount of air is removed. Then immediately press seal only. How to use our liquid blockers. When it comes to sealing meats with additional liquids like Italian dressing, you can keep the dressing from being rapidly drawn toward the sealing area by using these handy liquid blockers included with your commercial grade sealer. Just expand the blocker to the width of the inside of the bag and place across and above the meat. Liquid blocker 12 packs are also sold separately and available from Cabela's. These innovative patent pending liquid blockers are specially designed to block and absorb any liquids that are pulled toward the bag vacuum sealing chamber to help achieve an airtight seal. Be sure to see how to use liquid blockers later in this video. It's important to remember that you'll get the best vacuuming results by pre-freezing foods that contain moisture and juices like meats and fish. Just remove the pre-frozen foods from the freezer, pat dry with a paper towel, place them in the vacuum bag, press flat, and place into the sealer. Lock down the handle and when the ready light illuminates, press Auto Vac Seal Moist. If you're planning to vacuum seal liquids like stews and soups, you must freeze them first in blocks and allow ample room at the top of the bag so that it will lay flat across the foam gasket, heat sealing strip, and against the bag placement guides. Using Vacuum Canisters Your Cabela's commercial grade vacuum sealer comes with a canister hose attachment that's stored in the side compartment. You can use the canister hose with a variety of different vacuum food storage canisters that are available from Cabela's and online at cabelas.com. These canisters are great for canning fresh fruits and vegetables and meats or preparing marinades for a favorite dish. To use the vacuum canister attachment, insert one end of the hose into the air intake port on the unit and the other end into the center hole of the canister lid. Then press the canister button to start the vacuum process. Now, when the vacuum process is complete, there will be a short beep and the LCD complete light will illuminate. Remove the canister hose immediately from the canister first, then remove it from the sealer. The canister is now ready for storage. If you're using a marinating container, press the marinate button and remove the hose from the marinate container after the cycle is complete. Keep in mind, the marinating cycle will take up to eight minutes so be sure to keep an eye on the vacuum and seal progress LCD lights until the complete light illuminates. You can also use a marinating container to store softer foods like breads, cakes, or pastries. Since there are different style vacuum canisters on the market, you should refer to the canister manufacturer's instructions on the best method for locking, sealing, and storing. Helpful vacuum sealing tips. All right, now that we've covered the sealer's features and proper operating procedures, let's review with some helpful tips to keep in mind for achieving the best vacuuming performance. Do not overload the vacuum bag. Clean and straighten the open end of the bag and leave enough empty space at the end of the bag 
so that it lays completely flat in the vacuum chamber without creating wrinkles or ripples. Make sure that you're using vacuum bags with channeled ribbing designed specifically for vacuum sealing. Remove all excess liquid from moist foods by pat drying with a paper towel and press all excess air out of the bag before placing in the vacuum bag. For soups or other liquid food types, freeze them first and place a liquid blocker from end to end at the open end of the bag to prevent any melted liquid or moisture from being drawn into the sealing chamber. Avoid leaving sharp pointed bones, hard shells, or pasta exposed since sharp points could penetrate the bag during the vacuum process. Cover sharp edges with a paper towel to eliminate the possibility of punctures. Make sure the oval sealing gaskets are dry and clean and firmly seated into the channels. Before plugging in the sealer, make sure the power button is in the off position. This sealer uses a polarized plug and should be plugged directly into a 120 volt wall outlet. While an extension cord is not recommended, if you must use one, use a heavy duty cord so the power loss to the unit does not occur. Make sure to always work on a stable, level, and dry surface. Match the vacuum strength and sealing settings to the type of food you are sealing. Use the enclosed quick reference guide to help you select the appropriate settings. Avoid touching the heat sealing strip. It is extremely hot and can cause burns. Extend the versatility of your sealer by sealing non-food items such as clothing, photos, valuables, camping items, anything that you want to keep dry. When storing your unit after use, always leave the lid unlocked with the handle up. This will prevent the foam gaskets from deforming, which can cause the unit to not function properly. Replacement gasket kits are also available from Cabela's and Cabela's.com. Use the vac sealer storage cover to keep the unit free from dust and dirt. You'll also find more information on food storage, safety, cleaning, and maintenance in the operating instructions. Troubleshooting. Okay, you've reviewed the operating steps and started to seal some foods, but maybe you're not getting the results you expected, or maybe the unit isn't functioning the way you thought it would. If you're encountering any of these issues, we have some recommendations. If the air is not being completely removed from the bag, make sure that the top of the bag is clean and dry and is pressed completely flat across the vacuum chamber foam gasket and that there are no creases or bumps in the bag that could allow air to re-enter the bag. Check the sealing strip as well as the upper and lower gaskets and wipe free any debris you find. Gaskets should be sealed smooth and flat into the gasket channels. To seal properly, the open end of the bag should be placed completely flat across the foam gasket and inside the vacuum chamber up to the two bag placement guides. Check to see if the vacuum bag may have a leak. Seal the bag with a little residual air in it, then submerge the sealed bag in water and apply a little pressure. If you see bubbles, that indicates a leak. Cut and discard the section containing the leak or use a new bag. The unit should only be used with channeled vacuum bags specifically designed for vacuum sealing. The bag does not vacuum seal completely. If making a bag from a roll, make sure one end of the bag is completely sealed. Open the vacuum chamber lid and make sure the foam gaskets are inserted properly and there are no liquids or food particles on the upper or lower gasket. Make sure the bag is placed completely flat along the heat sealing strip and gasket with no creases or wrinkles and that it is inserted into the vacuum chamber up to the bag placement guides and that the raised air intake valves are not covered. If the handle latch has been stored in the lock position, the gaskets may be compressed. Unlatch it, lift the lid, and allow 10 to 20 minutes for the gaskets to expand. If the gaskets do not expand, remove them, flip them over, and place them firmly back into the gasket channels. If the gaskets are torn, contact customer service to obtain a foam gasket replacement kit. Make sure the accessory hose is not attached to the port marked ACC. Air was removed from the bag, but now air has re-entered. Examine the bag seal. A wrinkle along the seal may cause air to re-enter the bag. To prevent wrinkles in the bag, stretch the bag flat while inserting it back into the vacuum chamber. 
Sometimes moisture or food materials such as juices, crumbs, powders, etc. along the seal can prevent the bag from sealing properly. Cut the bag open, wipe the top side of the inside of the bag, and then reseal it. Sharp food items like bones may have punctured the bag. Use a new bag if there's a hole. Cover sharp food items with a soft cushioning material such as a paper towel and reseal. No lights on the control panel. Make sure the unit is plugged in and that the wall outlet is functioning and that you're using a 120 volt wall outlet. Make sure the lid is pressed all the way down and in the lock position and that the two LED lights inside the chamber are on and that the ready LCD light is illuminated. Nothing happens when trying to vacuum the bag. Check to make sure the power cord is firmly plugged into an electrical outlet and that the polarized blades of the plug are correctly inserted. Unplug the unit and examine the power cord for any damage. If damage is found, do not attempt to use the appliance or to repair it. Contact the customer service number included in this video. These are a few of the common issues that you may encounter and hopefully this instructional video has helped you to learn more on how to maximize the performance of your Cabela's commercial grade vacuum sealer. If you still have questions, you can contact the vacuum sealer customer service line at 855-939-7263 or 216-455-1101. Thanks for watching. Congratulations on your purchase of Cabela's Vacuum Sealer Liquid Blockers. Vacuum sealing is a great way to keep foods fresher longer, and with millions of sportsmen and homeowners using vacuum sealers today, we've discovered an innovative new way to help you create a more perfect and airtight seal time after time. It's the Cabela's Liquid Blocker. One of the most common problems many people encounter when vacuum sealing is having too much moisture or liquids in the bag. This causes the vacuum sealer's high-powered vacuum pump to rapidly pull liquids and moisture into the sealing chamber, which results in an incomplete seal. That's why Cabela's has introduced the liquid blocker. When placed between food items and the bag sealing area, the patent-pending liquid blocker is designed to trap any moisture or juices remaining inside the bag, helping to keep the bag's sealing area moisture-free. Just place the food you want to seal into the vacuum bag and insert the liquid blocker flat inside the bag above the food and expand the blocker edge to edge. You should also allow an extra three inches above the blocker so the bag can be easily placed into the sealing chamber. Wipe any excess moisture off the inside and outside of the bag, then place the bag completely flat across the sealing strip. Next, select the sealing setting according to the operating instructions for your vacuum sealer model. Press and seal, and that's it. In order to help you make the vacuum sealing more trouble-free with liquid blockers, here's some helpful tips to keep in mind. Remember that the liquid blocker is an excellent tool for keeping moisture out of the sealing area. However, the capacity inside the blocker for excess fluid is limited. You still need to remove as much liquid and moisture as possible before placing it in a bag by patting food dry with a paper towel, especially when sealing meats, wild game, and fish. Liquid blockers are also food safe and can be refrigerated or frozen in a bag, and yes, they are reusable. Your liquid blockers come fully assembled. But before you start using them, we recommend taking one apart first so you can understand how the parts fit together and expand. There are four basic parts to the liquid blocker. Three segmented parts, numbered one, two, and three, plus an end cap. To disassemble, simply pinch and remove the end cap, then push and snap each of the three segments apart. We also recommend washing all the parts just before you use them. Just replace the end cap onto the number three segment and wash the parts in warm soapy water or place them into the dishwasher silverware rack. To reassemble, follow the arrow indicators marked on the side of each blocker segment and slide segment one back into segment two. Push and snap segment one twice and pull all the way through segment two so that it's fully extended. Remove the end cap from segment three and push the two assembled pieces into segment three. Replace the end cap and your liquid blocker is ready to use. If you're using small one-pint bags, you'll only need to use segment number two. 
In addition, it's very important to note that you use only channeled vacuum bags that are specifically designed for use with vacuum sealers. Plain surface storage bags without channeled grooves will not work in a vacuum sealer. We hope you'll find Cabela's innovative liquid blockers to be a time-saving and cost-efficient way to maximize the use of your vacuum sealer for the perfect seal. Liquid Blocker 12 packs are available at Cabela's stores and online at Cabela's.com.